your vehicle clean and organized. Jesus Christ, I cannot suggest that more than enough. Mm, mm, mm. You, you, there, there are some nasty mofos out here. Not just plain nasty. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? So let's get into it. So you're here. You decided. You did your homework. You did your due diligence. You did your research. You watched all the videos. You looked at all of the tips. You did everything, and you still made the decision to come into trucking. Congratulations. You played yourself. Well, you are here, okay? You are here. But there's going to be some other things that you're going to need to know while you're here. Now, as I always say, a lot of people don't tell people about things that goes on in the in the industry especially things that i come to uh experience and that's what i'm here for you know I'm, I'm here to i'm here to tell you my experience man but did you know that trucking is one of the one of the most stressful jobs out here it's the most stressful job in america it's not just because of the long hours or the fact that it's one of the few industries where workers don't have regular It's hours. also because of how many responsibilities and the pressures that we go, that, that we're under every day. We're under a lot of pressure. Pressure. Hey, look at this little pressure come with a stomach, cellulite, and back titties. Is this what you want? <laughs> Not like, look at me closely. Is this what you want? Pressure as a truck driver comes with many more. We have to be on time. We have to take care of them. We got to take care of ourselves and the cargo. We got to deal with extreme weather. We got to deal with hazards. We got to deal with traffic, four-wheelers. I was almost cut off today. But all of that said could cause a lot of stress more than usual for drivers who's already feeling underwhelmed by everything else. Now, if you're coming out here with, with full on depression, added to the stress Sometimes that trucking you calls, just need to take a break. Take a break. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, I got seven You're seven deadlifts. maybe more maybe less but so far i got seven You're seven deadlifts. i got seven tips that'll help yourself feel a little bit less stressed out as an over-the-road trucker regional trucker or a local trucker i got it it may not it may work for you it may not work for you drivers if he has some better tips leave them in the comments below let's get at it number one make sure you take your break make sure you take a break now some of you guys like to do straight eights i'm i'm one of them i like to do straight eights when i'm driving and then i would get out and take my 30 minute break some of you like to break it in break it apart you know sometimes y'all might take a break after four hours of driving sometimes you guys might take your straight eights some of you guys just probably want to break every every minute you get <laughs> i'm just saying but definitely take your 30 minute break and try to get out and walk and stretch if possible all right some people say three hours some people say two i say four you know just to stretch your arms and your legs and to get the blood flowing once again. Mindfulness meditation. Yes. Sometimes you just want to just meditate your mind and inner peace. This practice involves sitting quietly and focusing on one thing. 
All right. One thing at a time, by the way, it can help you learn to let go of a lot of worries that aren't helping you right now. So when you're back on the road again, you won't be distracted by them. Take a turn, you know, turn off the lights and just sit in a quiet place just to get your, just to get your Zen back. Schedule some time each week, even if you are on the road to get away from the truck. Now, a lot of TikTokers, a lot of TikTokers like to influence you to get out here, to get in the truck, live in the truck, do things in the truck. It's all about the truck, truck, trucking, and truck, truck, trucking. That's what they inspect you to do. That's what they want you to do. That's what they think you should do. But no, you should take, when you, when you do things like on your 34s, you should take an Uber and get away from the truck stop to decompress, you know, go sightseeing. Go, go travel the, the, the cities that you're in. If you're in Dallas, put in a truck stop. Go to, go to downtown Dallas, downtown Houston, downtown Atlanta, downtown Miami. Just get away and enjoy yourself. It can make all the difference for you, your mental health, and your well-being. Stay hydrated. Drink Drink plenty of water that will keep your body functioning at its best. Put a wedge of lemon in it for flavor and a bit of energy. Stretch and exercise regularly to increase your blood flow and reduce muscle tension. You can do this inside of your truck. I prefer getting outside and do it. You know, you can, you can get a full body stretch. You know, stretch them bones, get them working, get the blood just just circulating throughout the body. You can do that. Keep your vehicle clean and organized. Jesus Christ, I cannot suggest that more than enough. Mm, mm, mm. You, you, there, there are some nasty mofos out here. Not just plain nasty their trucks is a is 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 a vision of them you have trash all over the place trash all in your all, all in your dashboard trash all over the floor and everything jesus christ man what's that say about you and your hygiene oh and let's talk about the hygiene Make sure you take, you know, you, you might not be able to take a shower every day. But you can be able to take a shower at least once or twice a week. And then just keep your body fresh throughout the week. It's possible to do that. I'm just saying that helps you out here too. But damn it, man, I need you to keep that truck clean. Okay. You can find things easily. And when you need them, at least this is the last one for now. I'm sure my guys, my drivers will put some more tips in the, uh, in the comments below. But as of right now, don't spend all of your time on the road alone. <laughs> Ladies, y'all hear that, right? Find ways to stay in touch with friends and family back home. Now, that's easy to do, especially if you have young kids, you're able to do FaceTime with them. You're able to talk on the phone. If you have a husband, wife, uh, uh, a clapper that you like, you know, you, you, you can you can talk to them. You can keep in touch with them. You can you can Zoom call them. You can FaceTime them. You know, there's apps now that you can do all of that for free, not just iPhone anymore. You have an Android, you have a tablet. A lot of you guys have your tablets in your windows. You know, you could just click, pet, tick, and there they are. You know, just make yourself happy. Just make yourself calm and serene. 
and everything when you talk to friends and family that just get your mind off the stresses that comes with being an over the road slash local slash regional truck driver out here all right now listen i'm here for you guys i'm here for you guys the recruiter call channel is here for you guys if you guys like what i'm doing over here please i beg of you i implore you i will i i am most grateful to you to hit that bell hit that subscribe button hit that join button and everything else that you can show support for this channel man and if you like this video the thank you button is right up under the video all right until next time my friends drivers y'all stay safe out there hey i'm calling back again need a little wisdom from someone who understands those that suffer always feel forgotten how can i make sure you feel not mm -hmm.